hello guys welcome to my channel so we are studying what UE does when you switch it on in an LD network so far uh, we have studied random access procedure uh, in which UE receive the resources uh, using which UE will talk to E node B in uplink direction this we have seen in detail during ra <coughs> random access procedure and after that we had brief idea about uplink and downlink channels okay so uh, let's start this lecture in this lecture we will study how UE will in means establish RRC connection uh, with E node B so so this is our UE and this is our E node B and this is our MME okay so let me draw this lines okay so uh, initially uh, Ryui is in uh, RRC idle state okay it's in RRC idle idle means uh, UE is uh, not initiating or receiving any call also it's not browsing any kind of data it's in idle state so using the resources that UE got in random access procedure it will send the RRC connection request message to E node B this is the first RRC message that is RRC connection request message Okay, in response to this message, E node B will send RRC connection setup message. And in response to this message, you will send RRC connection setup complete message okay now we'll discuss the IEs of this message in the first message uh, we will send the uh, UEID UEID could be any random number okay and also it could be your GUTI if UE has stored this GUTI, it hasn't removed this GUTI. Actually, this is a temporary ID which UE got from network. So it can use GUTI as well and also it can use MC as well. Generally, MC is not shared uh, for security purposes. Okay, but depending on situation, it means UE can share these IDs in our C connection request message and uh, the second i will be the establishment cost establishment cause and this establishment cause could be your mo signaling mo signaling okay or it could be your empty access and also it could be your uh, MO data MO data MO signaling means uh, if MO signaling, signaling is establishment cause then your UE is either trying to attach to network or MO signaling is also used when UE is uh, using means it, UE is uh, updating its tracking area and also it is used when uh, you is detaching from network okay so in these three cases MO signaling is used and empty access actually whenever paging comes to UE then also UE has to send this RRC connection request so if establishment causes empty access it means uh, UE is responding to paging message and MO data when UE is trying to get some resources uh, some uplink resources from network okay now come to the second uh, message 
before coming to second message i would like to explain one more thing uh, that is uh, means uh, these this message rrc connection request message it is using srb that is signaling radio bear remember one thing we are talking about signaling here only because first of all signaling is used and only after that means using signaling the connection has been established and using that connection the data can be shared between ue and network okay so srb is there and one logical channel is there one transport channel will be there and one physical channel will be there means this message rrc connection request use srb0 and the logical channel which is used here is uh, your cch that is common control channel and the transport channel which is used here is ulsch these all are uplink channels and physical channel that is used is your pusch pusch so remember one thing uh, that srb0 is common for all us means any ue can use this srb0 and also this cch is also common to all us means uh, our ue is so far our ue is not dedicated to our network so any ue can use this common control channel or srb0 and can send the rrc connection request message okay so now the rrc connection setup message the ies of this message are your uh, it will share the configuration of srb1 configuration means uh, it will send the how means uh, ue can use this srb1 okay and why srb1 configuration is given to ue because uh, srb1 can be used for dedicated purposes only means okay so means after this message our ue will be dedicated to uh, our network it will use dedicated resources okay so configuration of srb1 will be there ue id will be there okay and one more thing rrc transaction id uh, rrc transaction id is yes. rrc transaction id it has less importance uh, i have just mentioned this thing the main thing here is configuration of srb1 so you will save this configuration and after getting this message ue will send the message on srb1 only which shows that our ue is now dedicated for this network okay so let's see the srb and channels for this message srb used here will be same that is srb0 because so far uh, ue has an means uh, the ue or network doesn't have this srb1 so srb0 will be used here and the logical channel the transport channel and the physical channel logical channel used here is uh, your uh, cch but remember one thing this cch will be in downlink direction and that cch will be in uplink direction okay the transport channel used here is your uh, dlsch dlsch that is downlink shared channel and the physical channel used here is pd sch pd sch okay so now the third message uh, ue has send this rrc connection setup complete message in this message uh, this rrc transaction id will be there transaction id means the, this rrc transaction id and this transaction id will remain same it will means you can say the means 
kind of ID of transaction means. Okay. And along with this, uh, it will send a NAS message also. NAS message, I think uh, you all are aware that is non access stratum message. This protocol is used when UE wants to when UE wants to talk to MME directly. So as in LTE, we don't have any direct interface with MME. So whenever UE wants to talk to MME, so first UE will send the NAS message to E node B. Then E node B further forward this message to MME. This we'll see in this lecture. So this NAS message will be your attach request. So you can say this attached request message is encapsulate or piggybacked here with this RRC connection setup complete message. Miss E node B will receive this message and forward it to MME without interfering with this message. Okay. And uh, it also share the PLMN ID here. GMME I here. Okay. Now let's talk about the SRB and channels of this message. SRB logical channel, transport channel, and physical channel. As you have received the configuration of SRB1, so SRB1 will be used to send this uh, RC connection setup complete message okay and logical channel used here is your uh, <clears throat> DCCH that is dedicated control channel see here in uh, in, in these two message common control channel is used because our UE is not dedicated for the network now it is sending DCCH message mean it means now our UE is dedicated for the network okay means but uh, for this UE is specific channels and everything will be specific for this UE okay DCCH and after that uh, the transport channel will be used that is your UL SCH uplink shared channel and the physical channel used here is PUSH. Okay. One more thing. Uh, after this second message, RRC signaling has been established. Okay. You can say I'm showing it with the sky blue. Uh, color that is RRC connection established okay so now our UE is moved from RRC idle state to RRC connected state connected okay okay so next is Next is that E node B receives the attach request, but E node B will further forward this attach request message to MME. And the name of message is initial UE message. I think all of you are aware that interface is used here is S1. And the protocol that is used is S1 AP between E node B and MME and between our UE and E node B the interface is UU. Protocols are RRC's main protocol, but other protocols are also there like MAC, RLC, physical. Okay, so in this initial UE message it will encapsulate the NAS message NAS message that is your attach request remember one thing the content of this attach request and 
this attach because are same okay and along with this uh, it will also send ECGI TAI these things will also be there in this message but the main thing is attach request so finally MME receive this attach request and now uh, MME will decide what to do with this UE okay because this is our core means core core network is there uh, so MME will decide what to do with this UE means whether it's uh, it will do it will do authentication also and after that it will do location update also that we will see in another lectures and after that it will establish the EPS connection everything will be there one more thing I would like to tell you here uh, as we know this is the RRC signaling okay this is RRC signaling and after this initial UE message S1 signaling is established S1 signaling so the purpose of this whole procedure is to establish RRC signaling and this S1 signaling okay so one thing I would like to tell you that uh, Finally, our uh, UE is in RRC connected state. RRC connected and ECM connected state. I'll tell you what ECM is. ECM connected state. Because ECM, you can say it's a signaling, okay, which is made up of RRC signaling plus your S1 signaling okay so the whole purpose is to let's move UE to RRC connected and ECM connected state okay so why ECM connected state because RRC and S1 signaling has been established successfully so U is now in ECM connected state Okay, so in next lecture, we'll see what MME will do. It will do authentication, security, location update. And after that, it will talk to PGW and it will make the PD, uh, connection with PDN. We'll see everything in uh, upcoming lectures. Thank you, everyone.